Hello guys, Croisio, ciao, welcome to uh, BC TV. We're, uh, we're broadcasting live to you today from uh, Swansea in South Wales and we're going to be covering um, a bit of mileage and we're going to be sort of sharing updates from the largest cosmetic fair in Europe, Cosmoprof 2014. Um, one of the things we do here at Beauty Crowd is sort of interact and search for, for new brands to, to bring our fellow sort of beauty enthusiasts and, and, and consumers that follow us on the community. Um, yeah, we're always searching for new brands. So unfortunately, we couldn't make it to Cosmoprof this, uh, this year. So we're basically doing the next best thing and reaching out on social media. And uh, we've got the live feeds coming in here. I've got my team with me here. Amy is joining me uh, on, uh, on, the, on the Twitter feeds today yeah. and in the studio. Yeah. I've also got uh, Nick, who's uh, our graphic design guy, who's gonna be sort of, you know, oh. researching and feeding in different brands. We've also got Harriet, uh, as always, behind the scenes, um, keeping the, the social streams going. And yeah, we, we're, we're hoping to connect with you guys if you're out there at Cosmoprof this, uh, this fine day. It's uh, day number one um, of a, well, what is it, a four-day show. I think the yeah. last day is on, is on, um, on Monday. Yeah, they Eight. just had Cosmopack, haven't they? And yeah, they Cosmopack them. ran from the 2nd to the 5th, so it's actually still on today, so it's a bit of a crossover um, stuff going on. So if you're into your brand development, I should imagine Cosmopack is a bit more of the sort of consumer. Yeah, definitely. You know, um, I've got the press press release right in front of me here. We've got, actually got a map of the, um, of the event here, and what can I say, it is vast. It is absolutely vast. It's the largest cosmetics fair, as I say, in Europe and I think it's fair to say that Cosmoprof on a worldwide scale because they also have the Las Vegas show, the Sao Paulo show and um, I believe there's one in Bangkok as well later in the year. Um, so on a worldwide scale they are without doubt um, one of the sort of premium destinations for you know uh, cosmetic trade fairs. This exhibition is 2,450 exhibitors from 60 uh, percent of which is from abroad. Um, I think there's a country pavilion of 25 and online ticket sales have increased 20 percent. Um, I'm not seeing just how much sort of footfall is going through there but if one of you guys maybe could research that it's uh, spread over yeah 14,000 square meters Cosmoprof, they've got like loads of conferences happening as well which we'll be telling you about, um, loads of speakers um, you've got hair care, green, uh, the green vision. So you've got There's the. So many different. I think they call them pads, aren't they? Just yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I don't know if we can have a, just a little look at here. There's a sort of a sort of trend, sort of going round of thing. You've got the on hair, on ring, which I'm not sure what that is. Uh, hair and the hair forum. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking this is the whole the whole show that we've got here. Cosmopack is in grey. And then all the other stuff is the various sort of sections of Cosmoprof. So you, you've obviously got the hair care, the skin care, um, makeup, Trend. cosmetics, future trends, and all these sorts of things happening. So we, we've been doing a bit of pre-research on Twitter and finding things. I'm going to bring up the Cosmoprof website for you now. Um, yeah, there's some stats on here about the exhibition. It's been running for sort of 45 years. That's an unbelievable sort of length of time. Yeah, Professional amazing. beauty sector. It's uh, tw in 2013, it was over 90,000 square meters of exhibition space, perfume, cosmetics, natural health, packing and contract manufacturer, manufacturing, sorry, beauty salons, spas, hair, nails. So, you know, this is the best place for us to sort of, you know, and you can see a breakdown of sort of per sector there. So the green is the perfume and cosmetics, which makes up the biggest percentage, which is, you know, it's great for us. I'm, I'm, sh I'm sure that's sort of covering off skin care and stuff as well there yeah, as well. I'm sure. So, yeah, we've, we're going to be bringing you the sort of Twitter feeds and, uh, and trying to sort of, you know, take sort of questions from you guys in the, in the stream. 
Um, we've started now, we've got 12 guys watching. I can see that there are a few, oh, actually GQB UK yeah, is in the is in the chat room. So that's someone I reached out to yesterday. We've got some regular um, viewers from Beauty Crowd TV, Ashley Tiernan and Kina. Hi to you guys. Um, yeah, sure. Sorry if I'm looking down a bit here. I'm trying to sort of research. It's, it's a bit of a less of a, f you know, a show for... Yeah, it's less of a show format and uh, yeah, I'll keep looking at the camera. Let's get up GQ uh, yeah, UK if Amy's got them on her screen. This Lovely. is the first Lovely. guys to reach out to us. What do these guys do by the so looks of things? So it's hair products um, and they've got everything from what I can see from treatments and shampoos to tools. So I'm all about my hair so I'm going to be having a little dig into these and seeing what they're about. Whereabouts are they from? Obviously um, the UK is it? Well looking at their Twitter, um, they're 100% uh, made in Italy hair care products um, but this is the UK uh, distribution arm so yeah we'll be, we'll be finding yeah. out a bit more of them, they look really really interesting. Yeah well one of the things that we're planning guys if you, if you are watching is that we, we're uh, developing a new website called beautycrowd.com and uh, we also broadcast weekly shows about hair care, skin care and cosmetics on our YouTube channel and we're looking to connect uh, today basically with new brands who would be interested in uh, joining our platform, maybe retailing on our website and uh, being part of the sort of the media with the, with the, the video uh, home shopping online. And yeah, if you're interested, we'd really love to sort of connect with everyone today. We'll, yeah. uh, we'll be making a note of all the brands as we go through. Um, if you are in the chat room, guys, tell us what uh, unit number you're at. We'll give you a point out on the board yeah. here. Um, send us a, a, a selfie, a stand selfie. Yeah. We want to see, we need to feel like we're there, so we need to send us a... Maybe they've sent some history. already. If, maybe we can check out their I Facebook page and see if there's anything coming through. Yeah. One brand that has been in touch with me on uh, Twitter this morning as well is uh, a, a lovely Irish brand. It, it, there literally is, can, you know, people coming in from every country basically um this yeah i think there's 25 different countries the first one we've sort of connected with is in ireland it's just over the water from us here and it's a uh, human and kind skin care i've got them uh, their twitter sort of feed on on my screen at the moment um, these guys have been at the fair from 9 a.m this morning they've tweeted me and i'm just well i was just it, this was the, one of the first brands I looked at and I thought if, if I'm going to find more brands like this at Cosmoprof I'm in for an exciting sort of weekend of social media research because I just love the packaging on this brand. I love um, the look of it, it's absolutely That's gorgeous. a picture that they've sort of tweeted out this morning but if I go a little bit further down I can see um, their stand there at, at the show looking a bit quiet that was tweeted a couple that was uh, just after 9am this morning so just letting things warm up. If you could send us a picture now and perhaps you've got a loads more sort of people at, at the stand at the moment, but um, I'm going to bring up their website if I, if I may. Um, well, actually I'm bringing up a blog here because I ended up sort of doing a bit of research and uh, yeah, found a blog. So they're obviously doing something right with their social media outreach. Um, you know, big shout out to you guys for, for, for sort of doing that. I noticed you're very active on social media. Looks like this blogger has received their uh, blogger sample with a handwritten note there, which is a nice touch, very, guys. Very, nice. That's really good social media sort of tip there for anyone who is trying to sort of develop a, a new brand and get their, get their products out there. Yeah. I think it's nice when brands take a little bit of time over things like that. It, I certainly think from a blogger's perspective, you'd feel a bit special. Oh, no, absolutely. Them. You know, really it's... And, and it just looks like that this brand does have an attention to detail. Um, this is, a, I'd love to be selling this on Beauty Crowd. I think if, if um, you know, if the products sort of stack up to the quality of the branding, which I'm, I'm absolutely sure that they probably do, um, this would be a great brand to introduce um, on our video shopping and on our sort of social media community e-commerce platform, which is uh, currently under development. But I think you'll agree, Nick. What, what do you think about the design of this website? Because it's... Um... I think it's, yes, it's really nice. I mean, they've gone for quite a modern look, being um, a full width site, nice big imagery on there as well. Yeah. I mean, it's quite a, quite a nice looking design brand as well. I mean, the, the packaging is yeah. looked like... I love it. Is, is, is that packaging any ki kind of trend? I, I, I would say that's a boho. 
Can I say yeah. that? Like Bohemia? Yeah. But I'm just looking at their um, ingredients page at the moment and, and mm. it seems like they are quite big on their organic and their aloe and their yeah. oh, bit of marshmallow root extract. I think, I mean, I, I think they've really kind of um, taken a lot of uh, uh, the inspiration from that in their branding by the looks of it as well. For, yeah. From, from the, the look of the website and packaging, you can tell they're they kind of revolve around the whole natural kind yeah. of... Yeah, uh, which is quite nice because sometimes when you see natural brands, they go down the route of like that like rustic feel. This is nice, it's a bit like yeah. hippie, a bit bohemian, yeah. and ve yeah. but very like natural. I like it, yeah, I like it a lot. Definitely. Yeah. yeah, no, it's really nice and it looks like they're really on the ball with their with their social media and their blogger outreach, which is great, you know. Yeah. Um, I, I was on their website uh, earlier and checking out their story, um, but before that, yeah, they've had some great success. They're a winner of awards. They've won um, Irish Tatler Beauty Award 2013, um, Image Beauty Awards 2013, so it looks fairly new brand. They've even been winning awards out in Sweden, so so congratulations guys to you doing that obviously your hard work you know traveling out to Cosmoprof and you know get pushing your brand out there in a, on a European level is, is working really well and um, yeah if, if if we could connect after after Cosmoprof and, and get in touch we, we'd love to sort of show you what we could do perhaps selling the brand uh, either through e-commerce or by um, you know sort of driving traffic to your website and you know, working, working together, together. Um, to basically, yeah, bring this out to a wide audience. Yeah. So, absolutely, you know, one to write down there. Very the much like in the look of them. What's nice as well is at the bottom of their website, they've got Why is Humankind for You? Um, and it says, it's basically four clear points. Multitasking, if you're tired of wasting time and money on a flurry of skincare, Humankind is going to transform your life. It's natural, they've got the, like, as we mentioned, the natural skincare, the kindest ingredients uh, from Mother Nature, which is nice. Price conscious as well, the Pure TLC um, tubes, the price point's around 14 euros at the moment, 14 to 15 euros, so it's really reasonable. Um, and then the ultimate in kindness with vibrant packaging, the natural skincare wisdom we're now famous for. Human and kind is a treat for every time. It's nice as well to have price conscious, usable products that are not that expensive. You know, I mean, in terms of what we're looking help. for, you know, uh, uh, to bring brands to beauty crowd is is, is value yeah. for money, uh, quality, added value services. It yeah. it really does seem like a, a great product boxes. for us. So I'd love to I'd love to connect with those guys. I'm going to just quickly go into the social stream here. We've got the Cosmoprof hashtag. Obviously, you know, if you're at the show, you might not be watching straight away, but, um, you know, if you're not at the show, please do sort of tweet out that we are live. You know, we want as many sort of people to be um, joining us. And perhaps if you're also searching different terms on, uh, yeah, on Cosmoprof, if you're discovering brands that we're missing or, you know, you've got other searches running or you're on Facebook, do, you know, let us know. We, we drop, a, drop a tweet to us direct at uh, beautycrowd.com, uh, at beautycrowd or at beautybaron. Uh, I'm actually tweeting out as myself today. But there's a brand that's uh, just tweeted seven minutes ago called uh, Solaris. Solaris. It looks like a, a sunning product and, uh, and tanning. They've got 1,600 followers on um, on Twitter, I've sort of brought it up. They don't seem to have much more in the way of uh, links to their website, so maybe they're they're not uh, they're not on the web at the moment. But uh, can have a look at these brands. These guys have literally just arrived at uh, at Cosmoprof, so uh, welcome to Solaris uh, and the team there. I, I've got some pictures on my screen here as well beg your pardon I've got a drop down so yeah these are some of the sort of uh, the tweets that are coming through live I can see a brand team just arriving here um, I looked at these guys earlier and this is uh, Depiline um, I've got their sort of Twitter up here it looks like a, a Spanish hair care brand if I'm, oh, okay. if I'm not mistaken they have got an English version of the website so yeah th these guys look like they've got um, well, it seems like a, quite a Spanish sort of branded business. I, I, I haven't heard of these guys before. Um, looks like they've got all their sort of social media in, intact here as well. Looks like they do candles and stuff. Oh, that's cool. <clears throat> quite diverse. I'm, I'm going to click through if I can, if I can, and just have a look. Yeah, they've got seven thousand four hundred likes in in. Um, 
on their Facebook page. That's the team arriving there at Cosmoprof. Um, no other sort of pictures there. Looks like they've been at Cosmopack this uh, this week, and uh, and they've tweeted out pictures there. So, um, Harriet, maybe we can tweet this these guys across social media and uh, and see if we can um, get in touch with them. Give them a shout out. Have we got anything else coming through? Well, I think our initial plan is to kind of just take a look through the exhibitors by country, wasn't it? Yeah, so that's right. We're going to have a little blitz through. Um, we've had some awesome ones come through um, that we've been spying earlier on. And one which I'm int intrigued to find a lot more about is uh, the Beautiful Brows, which was one Harriet stumbled upon earlier, which looks amazing. What I'll do is I'm going to refresh wow, my screen. Look at that because packaging. Will you wait till you see the video? Just okay. take a look at what they do here. Um, Can you drop the lower third, please? on the video how cool is this so obviously we know how massive brows are at the moment and we were looking at a brow product earlier in the week weren't we and the, the different um colored shadows and things that you can get to, to yeah. feature this and this is what looks like a whole kit so you get your highlighter and you get your different shades of eye of eyebrow uh, powder and then you get all the stencils oh, and the tools nice. and things you need. It's really nice. Is that just a concept or is it an actual product? It's an actual product. They are exhibiting today and we will be getting in touch with them as well to find out a bit more. But I've given them a tweet so we'll have? see if they'll yeah. get Fab. back in contact. Wh whereabouts are they from, does it say? They're a, um, I think they're a UK based company, are they Harriet? Yeah, they're... I think they were on yeah, the UK um, section of, of, uh, okay. of the Cosmoprof exhibitor yeah. list. Nice, so, yeah. nice website anyway. Yeah. Looks like a very cool product. product. Okay. Yeah, they are a specialist UK cosmetic company who manufacture and retail bespoke high-end, qu high-quality eyebrow essentials. And so, yeah. Yeah, they yeah. distribute in the UK and they, and in New Zealand as well. So may yeah. maybe they did originate in New Zealand. And just it's surprising sometimes you discover sort of UK brands that are. Um, you know, they're not even established in their own market. They're, yeah. they're bigger in Asia or they're bigger in yeah. Australia and, and, and various places. So there's just so much to find. It's absolutely fascinating. Oh, it is and, endless. And endless. this brand, again, would be a cool product to have on on the Beauty Crowd website. And it's yeah. really... Um, I've um, yeah. just taken a look on their shop page now. And that palette that we've just taken a look at is actually called the Beautiful Brows Kit. Retails for £38. Now, when you compare that to palettes that you get from um, HD Brows and brands like that, and even the Benefit um, Browsing's palette, that's really good for yeah. the tools and, and the compact itself. Yeah, and the attention to the packaging is cool as well. And it comes in different shades different there as shades, well. Different shades, yeah. You've got slate, you've got blonde, light brown, you've got medium, chocolate, black. So, yeah, you're going to got a decent selection you're definitely going to find one that's going to suit and it's got four out of five star reviews on their website so oh, people good. seem to be loving it yeah. definitely need to get get somewhere with them get yeah. talking look, look, look in here that they are a uk company yeah. and um they launched this brand in february 2013 so they haven't been around oh, okay, so too long new. as well but yeah. um, they seem to be doing pretty well that's a definite about. one to write down and you've tweeted them out already yeah yeah drop them a tweet see if they'll send any pictures in to the show and um it don't have to do that every time, Gavin. It's just throwing me off a little bit, sorry. Um, <laughs> We're bouncing from camera to camera. I found another guy who I wanted to just bring up on the screen. This is a guy called Nico Benz. Um, I wanted to give him a shout out because he's a fellow live broadcaster. He actually looks like he's streaming live from the um, from the show today. Uh, that's his little set up there with the webcam and uh, microphone. Loving his so microphone. I don't know if we can get a tweet out to Nico and see if there's any way that we can sort of connect with him. Um, I'm going to see if I can drop him a retweet so you guys can see uh, that in, in the stream. Huh? If you want to follow Beauty Baron. Good to see that people are adopting the broadcasting technology because um, we're, we're, we're just loving this at the moment, guys. We, I really think it's sort of the future for, for marketing your, your exciting brands, you know, oh, especially yeah. like some of the ones so we've seen here. It's like, it's easy as well. And it's convenient for people. People can pop on and watch. People can watch back. It's, people can ask the questions. It's really good. That's what yeah. I think we're finding from um, it. We can get instant feedback on things. I mean, you know, we've only got 13 people watching at the moment because we've 
to be honest, we only decided to do this yesterday, so it's sort of that's the other great thing with live is that you can impromptu you just switch the cameras on and host a host an event. But we're getting live feedback, you know, beautiful brows that we just put in there. You got Kina Ruleska and Ashley T and then from the group saying gorgeous packaging. Um, I think it's pretty expensive, says Kina, but I'd buy it if I had the money because it absolutely looks great. Yeah. So, you know, instant feedback that we can get there. You can answer questions. Um, so if anyone's got questions, guys, and they want to ask these brands, do tweet them and get in touch. Let them know that you've, uh, you've heard about them first here on uh, Beauty Crowd TV. So... Mm. I, I did a bit of research last night, and I struggle sometimes to to keep up with um, uh, keep up with the feeds and talk and uh, and look <laughs> at the cameras as well, which I'm guilty of not doing. Multitasking, it's fine. But I found a brand uh, this morning. Um, lovely sort of story two ladies the founders were offering to uh, pamper you if you went over to their stand and that was a, a brand called Mona Skincare no. um, an organic skincare brand from New Zealand which is on my screen there they do a men's range and they do a sort of a women's range um, really sort of nice brand advanced sort of skincare um, technology I think they describe it as a revolution in sort of uh, organic skincare um, and they've got a nice product range. I always tend to look at the serums first because I think they're they're kind of an indicator of what the price of a brand is. They tend yeah. to be the more expensive. Because they sort are, of yeah, they are your if you were product. really into skincare. So they, they do this top. sort of serum, uh, your key to youth, which is something obviously we're all we're all looking for. Um, yeah, lovely product, and and the complementaries are. Oh, 125 New Zealand dollars. I don't know if we can get a conversion on that, but. Um, 125 let's have a look a, a really nice sort of website one thing i would feed back to you guys is um yeah no social media sort of links on on the home page so a bit more difficult for me to tweet you and, and get in touch but they've got a section here for cosmoprof so you know a long way to travel to come over from new zealand fair play to the guys That's um, not, i've just done a quick conversion 125 new zealand dollars works out about 65 64 65 pounds yeah yeah so for, a, and for serum, a serum that's not too bad not too bad not too bad so it looks like they were visiting last year as well and um i know from their social media that they are active but i would definitely think about Gotta getting get the integration getting on. those links on the home page and and look at me it's just my blindness because it's right there so I do apologise to you guys. Um, maybe a bit of feedback make it more visible. Maybe shout about maybe. a bit more. Who knows? Or maybe i uh, just not reading it properly because <laughs> we're broadcasting as well. But um, they they look quite cool. I like their I like their website. Yeah, nice and a huge following on social media. Fourteen thousand two hundred and forty. Um, really can bring my screen back up here briefly. Yeah. Let's connect. I've never been the branding of Cosmoprof this year as well. Well, this is some of their pictures from outside. Got busy, yeah. isn't it? These are the queues. This is what you know. You guys are experiencing all sorts of characters there. You've got everyone from the sort of corporate suits to the the B bloggers. Just having a look through some of the sort of a mix of people that's there. Looks like you've got photographers, you know, journalists. It's just everyone. Uh, you know, this year we weren't able to make it but if you know cosmoprof like what they see we'd be more than happy to sort of join over and uh, you know happily go to sao paulo to broadcast live from the the next <laughs> event there's the ticket booths people sort of flooding in look at the volume of people visiting this show today we need to find out i have done a quick search for football and i can't find anything yet but i will have a look because that would be a really interesting fact to know i think can we tweet cosmoprof worldwide sure. and see if they can send us sort of like some ideas of 2013 football yeah. and uh, you know just introduce them to the live stream tell them that we're here and uh, maybe they'll be kind enough to sort of retweet that out for us as well so um yeah great brands coming through i'm going to go straight over to the twit feed now nick you're, you're looking at brands are you finding yeah. anything there well um harriet um sent us one uh, in a stream uh, called beauty lab which is um uh, based in london and they're kind of a uh, a science and innovation brand with skincare so they've got a couple of tanning products here uh, they've got like high performance anti-aging moisturizers and things right um, and yeah I, I sent them a tweet just to see how it how um, it was it was going out there and they have tweeted back they, they said that um, going brilliantly thanks for asking 
Um, so yeah, I'll tweet them. We'll yeah, just, uh, sh share yeah. a link to the live stream. Yeah, definitely. ah, Beauty Lab. I think I have been on this uh, yeah. website before, actually. Mm. Um, they do that black diamond uh, skincare product. Uh, oh, that's the one. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, this this one, black diamond glamour radiance and luxury cool packaging 90 pounds they charge for their serum so you can sort of put that in comparison to uh, the uh, Mona skincare brand from New Zealand yeah. there yeah. Um, looking in the at news their, they're there mm. have they got their, their social media links online let's have a quick look yep they do let's go over to Facebook just see quickly if they've tweeted anything from the show today Beauty Lab London Guys, ask them to send some stuff from the from 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 Cosmoprof because we'd love to see how your stand looks there, guys. Um, but uh, if anyone has heard of Beauty Lab and uh, has used their products um, in the in the chat room, do let us know. Ashley mm -hmm. Teen and I'm happy to find that Humankind Company been looking on their site. I love the look of their shampoo. So actually. You know, great that Ashley has discovered something new there. Mm, definitely. Let's see. Let's see if there's any sort of new, new things coming through from the stream. We got a uh, GQ still there. What was the GQ name of that guy, Shaw? Jay Tan, that I saw yesterday? Oh, Jay from Geordie Shaw. Jay from Geordie Shaw. He has brought out his own range of tan. We did connect with him. He did um, He did say he was interested, didn't he? He did sort of yeah. show uh, a bit, of, a bit interest. of interest. Obviously, once you get swept up in the crowds of... Um, <laughs> the buzz of Cosmoprof. Of the Cosmoprof event, then um, I'm sure. But uh, excuse me for looking down. I'm just going to bring up Jay Tan here. Um, Interesting. Jay Tan from Geordie Shaw. I started looking in, into Jay because I, I thought, oh, you know... What sort of character is he? I have never seen Geordie Shaw before now, but uh, he seems like one of the sort of tidier sort he of does. characters yeah, on there. He's a, he's a bit down to earth. He's got a tanning range that he's uh, he's obviously out in uh, Cosmoprof today tweeting. There he is. A bit um, happy about his tan. Yeah, yeah. You know the guy. He's really keen on it. Obviously, this is the thing, though. He loves his see. Instagram and you know his torso. He get, gets he loves his torso. Yeah, he gets that on the phone covers as well. But um, I think it's cool because the thing is, is it's every like we've talked about um, products for for men uh, quite a few times on BCTV, and it's quite cool. Yeah. Like you know, guys do use products, guys do tan now, and I think you know, I think it's really great that he's brought out his own tan, yeah. putting his face in it, and making it like making it more acceptable. It already is acceptable, yeah, but like. Right. You can tan, it's fine. Guys can, can I'm fair you know, play to him, you know. It's sort of one of those things where, like you say, guys are not that keen to sort of say they tan. Take someone like Jay to come forward. He does a men's and women's solution. They sell all the sort of uh, tanning equipment. Um, he's, he's on social media as Jay, uh, Jay Tan, and he's also got his own sort of uh, account for um, Geordie Shaw. And I read about him that he actually left Geordie Shaw for a couple of years. Yeah, you got a then, girlfriend. And then came back. <laughs> came so, back. Um, yeah, I don't know. Is Geordie Shaw Shut still going now? It's yeah, not really it's, still, prof, but. it's still going. It's still going. But I don't, I don't watch it very much. Although I am a reality TV addict. But um, yeah, so it's still there and thereabouts. But I like Jay. I like yeah. him. But you know, he's obviously out at Cosmoprof. He's got a brand. He's got a product to uh, promote and uh, what better place to sort of go and do it than the the world's largest uh, cosmetic fair group let's say you know I, i'm not sure if this could this shows the the biggest in the world but it's certainly the largest in europe and cosmoprof do las vegas sao paulo and bangkok um and those are sort of i think it's um or oh, it's hong kong i beg your pardon i think bangkok has been in the past so yeah, they've got Las Vegas and Hong Kong this year. Sao Paulo was last year, I beg your pardon. Cool. Okay. Any other brands coming through? I'm going to check the social stream here. Let's have a look. I'm just popping a tweet up to Jay. Let's see how it's going. Uh, three new sort of brands. Um, Bioline Giato has just sort of tweeted oh, in the okay. last uh, few minutes. This is Bioline. Um, this is their their stand there great to see that they've got the mac computer there a lovely stand you know Very huge cool. sort of color collection yeah, and that's cool. in hall 14 stand b 
14 to D13. Wow, that must be a massive stand. Yeah, it's pretty big. Do it, we know where that is on the map? <laughs> Are we going to attempt to find it on the map? Let me actually look for that. It's so whole 14. 14. So that it's is here. Nice. And in the obviously, red yeah. It's, so red, uh, that's Beauty and Spa. Beauty and Spa brand. Uh, nice. Should we go over to their website and have oh, a look, look at that? Let's have a look. Italian brand. Uh, a lot of tweets in Italian, but also great to see that they're, they're, they're tweeting in English for us today. I'm gonna gonna bring up their website and let's get our first impressions of these guys uh, over in Italy. Nice, you know, nice sort of packaging. I guess we'd have to sort of research prices and things like yeah, that. Yeah, let's take a look. If people want to sort of um, get over to this website, it's uh, BioLine. Um, Hash, not hash. Forward slash? Not, no? e not even dash? forward slash, it's a dash. I can't even and see And then the it's J-A-T-O <laughs> dot com. I'll tweet a link out to that nice. shortly. Um, obviously advertising there, a fact that they're at Cosmoprof. Looks like they do cellulite products, uh, skincare. Like Amy said, it's in the, the spa category. Mm -hmm. So they've got face home care products, body home care products and sun. And then it looks like they also have like a, a treatment section here as well, where you can uh, enjoy their face, body, or um, massage mm. treatments. So they're really nice. Looks like they're into quite a few things here. I'm not sure yeah. if you can hear me drinking my tea, but really doing. Really it looks like they're obviously doing really well. They've got a huge stand over at Cosmoprof, and wish them all the best. Or drop them a quick retweet maybe if we can let those guys know that we've been talking about them Solaris have tweeted again that they're, they're, they're have they've they've all set up and they're having a look around now I think because they've just said wow. how amazing all the stands are looking who so, said that sorry uh, Solaris ah Solaris right yeah there. so That's cool. it might be good to get them to, to send a pick in yeah them. send a pick in or you know if anyone actually fancies giving us a call um, we can facilitate that. We've got the mobile here. We'd love to sort of, you know, get uh, a chat going with someone who's at the show. I know Kilpatrick PR are at the show. Yeah, um, and I'm hoping to sort of connect with Saskia at some point today. Um, maybe I'll just ring her mobile and see how it goes. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I think uh, there's, you know, PR companies, there's everyone here from marketing, product development. This is so Seen fascinating. Seeing a few things coming through from bloggers and journalists as well. Um, did have, a bl I've got an image on my screen from the blog, It's Fun To Be Happy. They have arrived at Cosmoprof, so we'll, uh, we'll get in touch with them, see how it's going for them. What are they using to tweet that picture? Just Twitter, is it? Yeah, they, well, it, it tweeted through from uh, Twitter and then I checked out the image on Instagram. Oh, so. right. Yeah. Good to see people using Instagram. I don't know. Can we run? Have they hashtag Cosmoprof? People tend to use um, hashtags pretty well on, on yeah. Instagram, don't they? Yeah. Instagram web is a nightmare. I will say that they are desperately trying to get everybody to go on their on, on the their phone. So we'll have a little look. I'll see what we can do with that. But yeah, we have got the wonderful Sylvia joining us. Uh, She's actually based in Italy, not in, in Cosmoprof, no, unfortunately, in. this time. Maybe next time. So she is uh, roving around for us as well. So she's sending me through um, product brands and bloggers and things like that. So we'll be taking a look at them. And she's also breaking down the language barrier for us as well. Yeah, so she's an awesome so she's doing, sending some translations through. Yeah, yeah, she is. She's just sent me through now. Paolo, oh, Paola P is an Italian brand. They're famous for their lash extending product. I'm just getting that on my screen now. So we'll take a little look. <clears throat> I think I've got so many windows open that my browser is now having a bit <laughs> of a heart attack. I've gone to my iPad now as well because I've got <laughs> too much going on. <laughs> we go on. and do our screens. I'm sure I'll have my phone on too as technology. well. Harriet, have you come across any exciting brands? Um, I've been looking through, but um, I'm just having a look now. There's one called Crystal Clear Skincare. Nice. Which I'm just getting up on my screen. There's 2,400. It's, it's almost like where do you start, isn't it? You I know, know exactly. Um, I've got the Lash Extender product up on my on my screen now. It's 26 euros 90 cents. So it's a bit a bit on the expensive side, but <laughs> it's got five out of five star reviews, which I was good. Sylvia can uh, give us a bit of an overview on that. <laughs> My Italian is a bit rusty. Um, but yeah, it looks cool. It's got a little brush with it. I'm quite intrigued to know 
a bit more about that. So Sylvia will be uh, communicating that one back. So we'll we'll keep you guys posted on that product. Looks quite interesting. <laughs> I had a brand um, which was tweeting me out this morning um, called Sal and it's made in Italy as well and there I thought this was one for you Aim, because they manufacture rollers and curlers nice um, and I've got on my screen uh, the brand name here um, th those guys are on Twitter as well so we'll bring that up but I thought this particular bit was quite interesting because I think they're a manufacturer and licensing as well to other brand names and they, and they also sell under their own brand name um, if you check out their Twitter feed, um, I've tweeted from Beauty Baron today. Um, they've got a fantastic, uh, a fantastic stand there. It was a lovely picture of their stand. I'll find that for you in a minute. But this is just a sort of few pictures of their production line, look, making the sort of the rollers and stuff. There, you can see That's the. So Cool. see the guys um, doing it all sort of there like showing their sort of production facility as well this could be a brand for beauty crowd to connect out maybe oh, we definitely. could we could bring out and license some beautycrowd.com rollers sort of. I will wear them every day yeah. I won't even take them out <laughs> so um, let me see if I had their that's, I love find, I love seeing behind the scenes and how products are made. I think that's such a cool thing when brands do that. Yeah, there's it's very few that. that tend to do it, isn't uh, it? Yeah, you know, so many so. things are kept like under wraps. But I know, it, you know, they might think, oh, no one wants to see inside of the warehouse, but people do. It's so interesting. There's even products dedicated yeah. to it. Um, Sylvia's busily translating um, a few things at the moment to find out a bit more about the Lash Extender, but I've got um, an Italian blogger who has actually done the ch uh, a picture to show the effects of it. She's on my screen at the moment. Which brand's this again? Um, this is the Lash Extender, the Paula P. Um, and if you can see on her a, on a, well, a right eye, look at the difference between that. That is in, can I zoom in? Should I zoom in? Scroll down. Look at that. That's incredible. Is that her natural That's lashes? That's her natural lashes. Wow. That's insane. That's brilliant. Definitely need to find out more about that product. We'll tweet them out as well. So, yeah, if they haven't got much in English online, you know, at here That's at Distro we Beauty, um, we actually have uh, Italian language website. We have Italian language staff. Unfortunately, Sarah, who we thought was going to be in today, it's her birthday today. So, happy, happy birthday, birthday, Sarah. Sarah. Birthday. Happy birthday to you. Um, it would be great. Maybe Sarah will join us on Monday if we do this again. Um, but yeah, she was going to do some sort of translation for us. But uh, yeah. we do have the capability to sort of translate your website into English and distribute products to uh, the cool. European customers here in the UK and Scandinavia. And we've got the Italian customer services. Yeah. Oh. So if you uh, if you guys would be interested to get in touch, we'd be keen to talk about your product range. Definitely. Sylvia is now confirming that it's a um, based on a scientific studies about um, pa panthenol fibers and cellulose, which sounds very technical. Um, you put the lash extender between two layers of mascara. Cool. Oh, great! Uh, Nick's just telling me that Jay Tan have just retweeted us. So um, awesome! I don't know if we can drop Jay Tan a tweet from Beauty Crowd. Say, is Jay available for a phone call? Um, we'll give him a ring and see how he's sort of enjoying it there. Have they got a stand or is he just visiting to, to look for distribution? Because some people, you know, even brand owners, not everyone can afford to sort of, you know, if you're a startup brand, afford to sort of uh, to showcase at Cosmoprof. Yeah, so really it's, a, it's a really good networking event to go down there and meet distributors and stuff there. But um, mm -hmm. I've, I've had um, Foil Genie tweet me asking if I found them yet. Yeah, <laughs> so that, that I think they think I'm at the show. Yeah, <laughs> now Foil Genie are really cool. We've been speaking to them um, this morning. They are um, foil dispensing. Obviously, if you've had ever had um, highlights, you will have had foil on your hair. Um, over there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I am. Um, now, Foil Genie are doing a really cool thing, and I love it when brands do stuff like this. I know we were talking about it earlier. They've got a, a Foil Genie going around Cosmoprof, and if you are there, or if anybody knows somebody who's there, tweet them. If you see Foil Genie, apparently you win something. You've got to head over to their stand. I think they're at B7. Yeah. Um, head over to their stand and then tell them, tell them that you've seen Foil Genie. But if you do see Foil Genie, tweet us a picture as well, because we need to see who this Foil Genie is. Cool. I can't find B7 on there, so God, no. So we'll find. Well, I don't, I don't know what B7 is probably what, one of the numbers within. Yeah, within I don't know what hall they're in, the so we'll have to we'll have to find oh, out. Yeah. But I love I love it when brands get a bit quirky with that. Yeah. Get a, 
get an actual file, do you mean? Beauty no? Lab have mm -hmm. uh, retweeted saying thanks for featuring us and they're, they're checking out the show. So if you are there now, hi. Hi, Beauty Lab. <laughs> great great <laughs> okay. to see you guys and really good effort in making it uh, the trip over to uh, Cosmoprof and wish you all the best getting your brand out there to the uh, the global audience, which is, is there. Um, if you, you know, you've got a stand, please tweet us your pictures and, you know, any sort of uh, brand updates, any product updates you'd be love you know, willing and love to share those with our, our sort of followers. Mm -hmm. Please do follow us at beautycrowd.com um, and on Twitter at beautycrowd. Uh, don't know if we've got that's on the screen now. Yep. Yeah, we'll leave that up for a bit there. Um, you know, get the, some of the, the new brands to do it. Tweets are, uh, you know, it's a little bit sort of, I don't know, not disappointing, but I'd like to see more brands using the social media. I think don't know the, if prob everyone's the problem is when you, when it, with, with shows, I think, like you mentioned earlier, you get so swept away with what's going on. And obviously, I can imagine if there's so many people in that one place, yeah. the internet is probably having a hammering. So it might just be only some, some are getting through, but it's, it's, it's obviously good. it's over four days as well. So I guess a lot of the consumers are going to sort of hit there on the weekend, on the weekend. and, yeah, and you're discover right. brands there. But yeah. uh, you know, really good. I, ha I have got another brand in mind here. Um, I think it was one coming through called Angel Hair Care. Yeah. Angel Hair Care's at, at um, Cosmoprof today. I've uh, got them on my screen now. Just trying to work out what sort of nationality this brand is. It does look European to me. Um, let's have a little look about us and, and see what, what we're saying here. Mm, not the best sort of description, but um, our mission statement has placed Angel Hair as one of the most growing brands of professional cosmetics. I think the website needs a little bit of work, guys. But work. Um, they're on Facebook. Yeah. Um, they've got 108 likes at the moment. Um, 109. I'm on it. I'm on it. Um, yeah. So they've they've sent. Oh, uh, unfortunately, they've uh, their last post was 2012. Come on, yeah. guys. You can do better than that. But yeah, that would be good. We need to see more from them. Yeah, and they're Maltese. That's yeah. interesting. So uh, my parents just yeah. went to Malta for a nice trip. So, yeah, great to see the the guys down in Malta visiting uh, Cosmoprof. Just a, a short flight, I'm sure, from the Mediterranean island of Malta yeah. over to Bologna. They've got um, an Argan range as well, and I know we've spoken about the Argan phenomenon that's sweeping the nation of uh, of the world with in both hair and skincare and beauty and everything. So. It'd be quite cool to find out more about those products. We'll we'll get in touch with those guys, but yeah, yeah. Let's step up the step up the Facebook activity. Let's see pictures of the stand. You know these these things are awesome. I found um, another brand here, which uh, was just tweeting me out this morning. Um, it's a brand called Pura Sunless, and it's uh, a sunning sort of uh, tanning solution. Oh, they actually yeah. sell these sort of oh like a booth. They're tremendous. These booths. I think it's all sort of like the. The spray is all yeah. built built into the booth there. Um, cool. The guys are over on Facebook. They've got a, a following over there. <laughs> you, excuse me. You can see some of the team tweeting from from the show there today. Um, I think I've seen another one, uh, another photo somewhere on Twitter. But yeah, look at that booth. It's sort of obviously they're you know targeting the sort of professional market and millionaires because I, don't I was going to say you, or large homeowners. Yeah, you're not going to have one of those sort of. Um, unless you're sort of in the industry, but they did a range of products um, which they do the salon collection that you can see here. Um, and the website is purasunless.com. That's P U R A sunless.com. And then uh, forward slash products to see the page I'm on at the moment. And they do sort of a selection of retail pro products there. And they've got like a towel up, which I suppose is either skin prep or, or, or infused with the tan. Yeah. Um, and then you've got like the amplifying gel and the shower That's gel, cool. which are sort of, uh, you know, products that they um, obviously sell um, out when you've had a, had a had a spray in that booth. Looks really cool. I'd love to see a demo of that booth happening mm. um, happening on, on the social media. It'd be great be to sort of see if we could even find a video from them guys on that. Mm. Definitely. Um, They're definitely we have... doing demos on, on the thing because I can see it in this picture here. Oh, cool. Look at the buzz around their stand as well. They've got plenty of people sort of oh, that's cool. there um, 
getting into it. So absolutely brilliant. I love to see brands doing demos at, at shows. I think that's it's such a good opportunity because mm. so many people are a little bit like skeptical about you know claims that brands make. And I saw um, I actually think it was um, M, M Ford's blog when I was looking yesterday, and she was at um, the blogger fashion week, and there was um, a, t a tooth whitening stand, and they were doing demonstrations, and she was gutted that she decided that she wouldn't give it a go because another blogger tweeted and it, their teeth had been whitened seven shades lighter. Wow. And she was like, oh, if only like, it was there in front of me. So, you know, it's a really good opportunity for brands to like showcase themselves. Yeah. Um, we've had a photo through, or oh, we've found a photo from GQ UK. They have tweeted a, a small s a snap of their display on the stand. Mm. So it's looking good, looking good. So more photos are better. Just make sure you're sharing them with us. We're loving to see them. Yeah. Um, yeah. Another product that Harriet's just sent through to me is, um, I'm sure people are aware of the brand Nip and Fab. They, they are in Boots and some high street uh, sort of pharmacy stores. Um, and they, they're doing a Nip and, men, a nip and Man sorry, range. Um, they've got all sorts, which is really cool. Um, is it Rodil or something that the brand is uh, the owners of this? Because I think I had a tweet from um, oh, okay, the, the, the MD of that company who actually said that they were keen to get involved. Oh, I think that's if, I, awesome. if I just check my notifications here, um, let me see, there's a few. Viviana Rossi as well, if oh. you're watching, uh, looking forward to seeing you, Viviana, here in, in Swansea soon. Um, sorry, we're all looking down at our, our <laughs> We're all enthralled by here. Nip and Man. I love they've got um, they've got a deodorant which is a power workout fix. I love I love it when they they pop a tail of power workout. Work. Nice. Power workout. This is like I intense. think the MD of Rodil and Nip and Fab actually um, tweeted us through at Beauty Crowd on the notifications there. So I don't know if. Um, anyone sort of uh, oh, see that one there yeah. another brand that tweeted me yesterday um which i'm just looking for beg your pardon there's another irish brand um i noticed these guys um or say the irish are invading uh, invading cosmoprof and they, they <laughs> the team looks like they're having a really good laugh over there and that's this brand here called carora Okay. Hopefully I'm saying that right. And Corora Cosmetics is uh, based in Dublin. We're going to have a quick look at their website now. Big shout out to you guys. Um, looks like uh, just the product range is Skinware Expert. So looks like they've got a selection of uh, a skincare. Um, uh, right, then they've, they've sort of they've categorized their, their products. Golden Girl, Glow Glamster, Supreme brunette so maybe they're yeah skin sort of tanning products is it it's quite a clever way of, of doing it i mean they've got kind of a mini brand for each each of them who underneath their brand is oh, quite a nice cool. way of doing it yeah very cool like that i can see uh gq is still quite active in the in the social stream at the side of the video as well and um a nice little quote that they've they've tweeted out um is just to say that with their with their products, they like to think of hair care like a cooking recipe. So you need to have like a little bit of a couple of different things to really get the best out of it. And that's a really cool way to put it. It's like you know. So I know they're um, asking about who's dealing with frizzy hair and having a bit of a chat with Ashley as well. So doing a bit of a bit of a consultation, just fab. You know, G Cube. <coughs> if you're in the UK and you fancy uh, popping down to Swansea sometime with some products, we'd love to sort of broadcast out live demonstration and a bit of a question and answer session for our followers. Um, yeah, we'd love to sort of see more from from your product range, basically. Um, yeah, this Italian brand Crora, they they looks like they do like CC creams, BB creams. Um, so yeah, they do a sort of an other sort of series of skincare and tanning products. So I quite like their brand. It was initially sort of difficult to see their 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 range, but looks like their their stockists are online at the moment. Oh, okay. um, oh and they've got stuff here out in. Well, this is interesting. They've got big stockists in uh, in the UK. They've got places on uh, Fifth Avenue, um, different sort of small, medium-sized apothecaries. They've got a um, shop and channel in Canada. John Bell and Croydon, I don't know what that is, but that's their UK distributor. Okay. Looks like they're in Lloyd's Pharmacies throughout the UK as well. So that, that's, a, that's a great one to get in Lloyd's Pharmacies, guys. Uh, really well done and um, 
you know, be interesting to connect more with these guys. They do look like a fun team. They're, uh, they, they were having a laugh last night on uh, on their arrival in Cosmopol. Oh, yeah. I've just had a really interesting <coughs> um, Excuse me. brand sent through to me by Sylvia. Um, and I don't know if anybody's familiar with Faber Castell yes. um, pens. stationery and stationary, pens yeah. and all sorts. They've actually, I've got them up on my screen, you can buy them from Amazon. Um, but you can, they've actually just brought out jumbo eyeshadow and lip uh, products. Really? Bummer. Yeah, in a pencil form, which is very cool. It's a nice transition over from uh, stationery to, to makeup and cosmetics, but that's a really interesting one. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah. Have so they got a social media page that we can check out? Maybe they got some I'll pictures from the show on there. Uh, let's see. Let's see where we're at. Don't think yeah, they have. They're, they're a very good stationary brand. Uh, I yeah. used to when I used to do uh, a design um, in in uni. I would buy a, a set of yeah. their, their pencils. Yeah. I think I got um, Naomi actually mm. one of their pens for Christmas as well. So. Oh, it's a good yeah, gift. Nice they brand. know you're sort of from but a good pedigree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Quite a bit of uh, press coverage as well. No Talking about their uh, their adventures over to Cosmoprof last year, um, yeah. It seems like so, yeah, everyone's going to Cosmoprof. We we've got to get on the brand there because <laughs> our company um, uh, is called Distributi. Uh, we we have a, a Facebook page called Distributi UK where you can see a little bit inside uh, our organisation. There's some videos there, and uh, we've got a distribution warehouse here of eight thousand square foot where we uh, distribute. Um, cosmetics all across Europe. Our, our biggest brand name at the moment is uh, elfcosmetics.co.uk. You can see uh, one of our banners up here. Elf has been a huge sort of success for us on social media. We have over half a million sort of followers on uh, on social networks. We've got a huge mailing list and, and customer base and uh, you know we're really really passionate about bringing our customers products that they want to sort of use and you know that's why we, we, we try to interact as much as possible and, and we are on the search for new brands to distribute and uh, <clears throat> yeah if you're interested if you're watching this back maybe Tuesday Wednesday next week after Cosmoprof you've had a finally had a chance to relax have a uh, a bit of a rethink about what's you know the whirlwind that is Cosmoprof, yeah. and uh, you, you've you've decided to check out social media, and you're watching this back. Um, yeah, do check us out. We're um, at Beauty Crowd, and we'd love to sort of hear from you um, if you've been at Cosmoprof. I, I see that this research that we're doing now can continue, and I'll certainly be connecting with plenty Definitely. of brands. I think we're going to have. Hours and days of research yeah. coming from this. There were some, some guys on, really on, on, on Twitter this morning that tweeted me out. Um, they were also excited about their arrival at Cosmoprof, and that is a company that um, I like their, their sort of pick, their post on, um, on Twitter because it was sort of, uh, let me see if I can just pull it up. Here it was. And yeah, they're traveling from A to B. So they've come all the way from California and they've traveled um, yesterday. They're in Hall 25, booth C77. And the brand is called the Hot Iron Holster. Oh, okay. And the Hot Iron Holster, I have their website here. Um, and what it is, is a sort of a hot That's iron cool. silicon holder for uh, styling tools. That's um, cool. So I th I'm not sure quite how it attaches to the desk there, but um, you can see, like, you know, for use in salons, people obviously using it at home in the bathroom, attached That's to the toilet. Cool. It sort of doubles up, I guess, as is it other magnetic, uses. Do you think? I'm not Maybe. sure. That's mm. very cool. Yeah. Because honestly, use I use hot hair hot hair uh, stylers every single day and it is a nightmare when you're just trying to store them somewhere you don't want to don't want to let the heat get on any of the units or god yeah. forbid on any fabrics or anything like that and that, mm. just having somewhere to just pop it i know nick has the same problem with all of his hair stylers no. I, was, I was thinking of knowing <laughs> so me then as well like, pop it, that's brilliant especially if you can go on pretty much any 
any plat any platform or any surface. That's fab. This is cool, and these guys are from California, and I'd love to get this over to the UK because <clears throat> I can see already that they they've got a great success story on their hands here. They've got it on QVC. They've had um, uh, great PR coverage on the the Today Show, um, and it really is causing a buzz. I I, I first saw it and I thought, mm, you know, obviously not being a user of uh, hot hair styling products myself. Um, I thought, is this actually useful? But you know, and then I saw this picture of like a boat here, and I thought, who who uses <laughs> their their hot hair styling products on a boat? But then I realised it's not just about hot hair styling products; it's about also just storing, storing your things. water bottle, storing things. So it's a great multi-use product. Let's see if we can just see this here how it works. So. It's a heat resistant silicone pocket that holds curling irons, flat, hair uh, flat irons and hair dryers. It's made from 100% silicone and consists of two parts, a roomy pocket and um, to hold the styling tools and a flat and a flap that grips household surfaces. So I guess it's like one of those um, surfaces that you get when you get those iPad, you know, like you get oh, it for your car, the, the anti-slip yeah. sort yeah, of uh, platform. Be. I guess it's, uh, in my head, it'll be the kind of material, you know when you do have your hair cut and they pop that yeah. rubbery collar? I feel think, like it's yeah. kind of like a bit weighted. I maybe. think they've, they've probably used uh, the type of silicon that they use, you know, for like uh, oven products. You yeah. get, you get a silicon that you could do cupcakes and things yeah. like that, and that's heat proof. They've probably yeah. taken, taken well, that material. Well, all silicon, yeah, it's good for sort of you know, non-conducting, isn't it? So yeah. This is a really cool brand. I'd love to love to connect with these guys. I see they've got a wholesale section. Um, great product for us, you know. We, we could bring this over here Definitely, and uh, yeah. and start distributing if they're they're looking for anyone. We've I noticed that they've uh, they've got a Japanese section on their website, so it looks like. Uh, the brand is doing well. Here's the Japanese site, which is very similar. Great to see them, uh, you know, branching out over over to Japan as well. Um, very similar site, so it's not uh, too worth looking at that. But um, very cool. Yeah, that's hairironholster.com. <laughs> Nick, what are you laughing at? Uh, Harris just sent a brand through for me <laughs> that's at the show today called uh, Jack Black. Right, and, get Jack uh, Black. It's it's a product for beards. So I'm just trying to read it here now, but guessing by the name, beard um, control. Beard control. <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to tell me, Harriet. This but looks good. Your beard is out of control, Nick. It's out of control. I did <laughs> say this morning I should have had a shave. But <laughs> this this is good though, I think, yeah. because it's a moisturizer. Because sometimes you do find that if you've got a bit of facial hair, like it, it can it. Difficult to moisturise. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely yeah. It does definitely, you know, and not being sort of always on the ball with these sort of things, it, you should sometimes get a bit of um, quite nice looking dry brand, skin actually. there. So this looks really nice. Yeah. It's, it's, from what I can see, looking, it's got an American feel to it. This brand. It has. It's got a little bit of a vintage American barber feel. I think. Yeah. I like it. I've also got Pit Boss for anti perspirant and yeah. deodorant. I like that. So Sorry. they've got shave, lips, body. It's great to see a, a men's range coming in there as well. Yes, yeah, really oh, interesting. Oh, they're award winning as well. Oh, that's brilliant. The double duty face moisturiser has actually got an SPF 20 in it as well. Mm. I've so. noticed a lot of the products actually yeah. have um, SPF, which is, is really Vitamin, good. Vitamin, menthol. Um, it, it is a problem for men when you shave. If, say if I got rid of my beard now, which I've had for a long time, the skin hasn't seen the sun that much, so yeah. if, if I went out in the sun, I would get sunburn. You'd have so sunburn beard. I would have kind of a red beard where, where mm -hmm. the hair was. Nobody yeah. wants that. So, yeah, no, it's, it's very well That's thought really product. Really authentic and original. I'm guessing that these guys have got a bit of a story behind them. I don't know if Stop. Jack Black has got anything to do with Jack Black, the actor, but um, they certainly have uh, some great press in the, in the States. I've got it on my screen here. Uh, it's not the normal magazines that we see here. We've got GQ, Maxime, Playboy, Men's Fitness, Men's Health, Esquire, Men's Journal. So, you know, huge b credit to their PR team and obviously the products because all these sort of top titles wouldn't be, wouldn't be chatting about um, a product that's, you know, it's not worthy of it. There. So, um, Very cool. really cool to see, to see that. Um, yeah, that, that's an interesting one. Got some really good testimonials on the site as well. Yeah, seems good. So I don't know if we can buy that in the UK, but um, we'll certainly do a bit of research into that. Are, are those guys yeah. exhibiting, are they, Harriet? Exhibitors, yeah. Yeah. Fab. 
Have they got a social uh, social stream? Have they been tweeting any pictures or anything like that? Let's see them on Twitter. Just bring them up briefly, guys. Yeah, they've got some pictures of products, but nothing from the event yet. No. I'm going to follow those guys because that's one yeah. to look out for. I wouldn't mind from Texas, them. they are. I Designed from the ground up to appeal to the guy's guy. There we are. That's nice. So Sylvia's sending something through to us about Bomb Cosmetics. I believe Bomb Cosmetics are at the show today. Yeah, it's a, a, a UK, UK brand that, uh -huh. that we're familiar with here, isn't it? I think they do sort of similar to Lush in many ways, isn't yeah, it? They're sort of bath lot. bombs and uh, skincare products. Yeah, like treat products as I can to kind of put them in. But yeah, they do a bit of home fragrance, a bit of bath, a bit of soap. Yeah, got them, got, got them on my screen now. They've got a very fun, very like bright website. It's cute. Yeah. Very cute. So, yeah, well, you should get in touch with them. Yeah, they're, they're a sort of network. I think they sell online, but then they sell wholesale and to sort of party planners and distributors, yeah. isn't it? So. Very cute candles and melts and range as well. A bit of diversity in that. Yeah, fab. Excellent. Cosmoprof 2014 happening live in Bologna. So gutted that we can't be there. So we're just doing the next best thing and, you know, following the social stream, trying to sort of get like inside story of what's happening there, who's who's exhibiting. Um, trying to keep keep an eye on things here. There, there is loads sort of happening there, I'm obviously. And I'm sure people are really enjoying their experience there. If there is anyone who knows anyone who's watching or, you know, just get in touch. We'd love to give a call. I, I don't know if we're going to be able to get to speak to Jay from Geordie Shaw today, but that's, that should be a mission of ours. Who knows? We definitely need to get some phone calls in today or, or maybe even a Skype call. Who knows? Yeah. Definitely. If anyone's at the show, what's the internet connection like? I don't know. You know, or even if you're not at the show, but your brand is at the show and you're here in the UK watching and uh, doing social media for your brand, because not every brand can afford to send like the whole team out no, there exactly. and, and things like that. And it's that. kind of good in a way because like if you've got a team at the at the show doing their thing and then report it back in, you've got somebody manning social media, you can get the full impact from it. Then I think. Yeah, good. Bologna Today magazine looks like a a local sort of a local uh, news network in in Bologna tweeting out about Cosmoprof. Um, lots of Italian companies, so great, great to see them. Unfortunately, we can't always understand them at the moment. But um, the In Pharma magazine, so it sounds a bit like an in, an insider sort of um, Italian magazine for the pharmaceutical and cosmetics industry. Cool. Bringing that up on my screen. Big shout out to you guys if you're watching. Um, <laughs> unlikely, but uh, you never know. You yeah. never know. <laughs> so, yeah, we've been going an hour. Is there any chance we could just take a short break? Um, we're going to be back with uh, more brands from Cosmoprof 2014. Don't know if we've got anything that we can line up, Gar. That's can we pop the? <laughs> we'll pop the graphic on the screen for just a couple of minutes. Um, we are. We will still be in the chat room and things, and still scoping things out. If you find anything, make sure you send it through to us as well. Or even just cut the mics and I'll just... I'll cut the uh, mic and we'll plod along, won't you? I'll look like weird.
Hi guys, so we're back. Uh, just a quick break there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, yeah, we're, we're, we're doing the live updates today from uh, Cosmoprof Day 1. Uh, we, we're here in uh, sunny Swansea in the UK, broadcasting all the sort of tweets and uh, social media activity that's happening around Cosmoprof 2014. Um, do get in touch with us if you're at the show, if you're, you know, if you're watching and you fancy joining in with the research and you, um, you know, you want to, you know, search brands, I'll tweet out, there's a link to um, an ex exhibitors. Um, it's really worth uh, just showing this on my screen at the moment. It's a, a great resource. I, I was going to download it and print it off, but it's 104 pages long. Um, <laughs> it's some nice sort of options here so you can, uh, you know, look at different countries on there and just randomly I'm going to go to Denmark so you know there's brands from all over the world to here and you can see that um, there's four brands actually from uh, Denmark there um, a gold hair care is one of them I'm going to sort of quickly um, do a search for those guys and see how they're getting on at Cosprof see if I can find anything at their um, on their website about their activities at Cosmoprof another thing that obviously happens throughout Cosmoprof and uh, there's loads of them over the four days going on. There's a full list on the, on the website, which I'll, I'll bring up in a bit. Um, but uh, yeah, there's all uh, talks and, um, you know, exhibition uh, discussions, open forums that happen uh, from different experts. We've got like the marketing tips, branding and formulation sort of tips yeah. and, 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 you know, and stuff for consumers as well. So this is uh, Gold Professional Hair Care from, uh, from Denmark. Can see they've got a nice sort of uh, nice range of uh, range. professional hair care mm. products by the looks of things there um, they're on facebook so let's have a look how they're doing on there pretty well I'd like to see here now a picture from cosmoprof but i'm not sure if i'm going to be lucky enough to see that looks like they've been successful in the danish beauty award so congratulations Very Very well done. Uh, to those guys from there um, oh, brilliant to see they're doing a behind the scenes sort of footage. Oh, that's cool. Um, so they're obviously they're on, on it with their professional media. Mm. That's a nice looking setup that they've got there. Um, so yeah, professional hair care. Let's get in touch with those guys on, on Facebook and let them know. But a great resource, you know, just you can go through this exhibitor list and, and actually find just loads of brands from different countries if if anyone's in the in the chat room and wants to sort of suggest a country i'll i'll quickly bring that up now um let's have a look at the chat room see who's who's chatting with us here we've still got ashley tiernan mm -hmm. ashley you know do you want to suggest a, a country yeah, and we'll, we'll have a quick uh, random look to see if there's any brands at cosmoprof from there Kina's still in there so our, our faithful followers are, are, are with us every step of the way and we always appreciate that Harriet has just sent me a link. Uh, GHT Spain are doing a live demo at, at Cosmoprof um, and they've tweeted out a picture um, where they're up on the stage. How cool is that? Nice. That is very cool. It's such a big fair, isn't it? You know, they've got all these different stages and um, yeah, GHD are doing a, a great yeah. job there. Loving it. Yeah, Loving it. Very cool. Bit jealous. Be cool to find out yeah. where that is as well. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea where they're at. <laughs> No idea. I'm gonna say uh, yeah. it's gonna be one with a with a fairly well, big there's space. The, there's the on maybe this one that could be what the hair ring is that sort of ring that we saw them sort of all around the the the, the stage there and the hair ring is number twenty five so that's here that that looks like it could be the space or maybe on hair there number thirty five if anyone uh, knows do let us uh, let us touch? know. Hashtag Cosmoprof 2014. Um, we're following all the sort of tweets that are coming through. Um, we're trying to sort of follow the, the hashtag and other sort of searches that are coming through. Um, another three tweets that have come in. Um, Claudia is a, a Spanish uh, tweet there coming through from Claudia M, who looks to be a, a sort of Italian a uh, brand or oh, blogger. Yeah, that's cool. Big shout out to, to, to oh, you. Oh, cool picture. Weird picture, isn't yeah. it? That is the eyes. If, you, if there's a beauty brand that makes you sort of look like that, it would be <laughs> quite different, wouldn't it? So, th um, three I'm, new tweets coming in. I'm following. GQ on the ball. GQ on it. Following um, Cosmoprof Bologna on Twitter, um, and what they're doing, which is really cool, is tweeting out. We've Neil mentioned about the. Um, 
talks and demonstrations and things like that that are scheduled in over the over the day and over the weekend. Um, and what they've got, they've got all, obviously all of the different rings that we've seen on on the map. And at the, uh, I think I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. The the ring, which I think is all to do with like um, more procedural based and things like that. So um, a, a bit of a uh, ring. Yeah, I can't. I no. can't pronounce it. Um, so yeah, so they're doing an under eye bio lift. So it's a bit like of the bo Botox kinds of treatment products that are being showcased over there. So at two p.m. they're over there. So hopefully we'll keep our keep our eyes peeled for some uh, some demo shots maybe. And going back about the the social media and like the marketing side and all of that kind of thing of, of Cosmoprof at two p.m. over um, at another part of the of the show is because network franchising is beautiful. So they're doing a talk on that. So it's it's quite cool that they, they you know there's so different many different elements to to Cosmoprof. Yeah, they're doing a bit I've got my Cosmoprof uh, Facebook page. The Bologna page is uh, it's on my screen at the moment. Obviously, over the 35 years they've built up a great uh, great social media following of 71,000. Just shows how popular the show is. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and there's pictures coming through there every few minutes. This is one that was posted up 28 minutes ago. Um, Wow. Can't, cool. It doesn't say what, what the talk is about there, but uh, looks to be some demos going on and uh, a great audience following there. I can see one guy taking a picture, so that must be up there somewhere um, <laughs> on, find on him. social media. Who is that man? But um, yeah, great to see here. Look, they've got some dignitaries there. Look, there's some military guys in the front row there, so God knows what products they're talking about there. But. Um, yeah, really uh, interesting to see some of the photos on the Cosmoprof uh, social social page there. There's uh, colourful characters there at the opening ceremony. So, um, yeah, check out Cosmoprof on Facebook and Twitter. I think it's at Cosmoprof Worldwide. And do let them know that you're uh, following the stream and uh, and suggest that they, they do the same. I was hoping to, to get a tweet from those guys. Mm -hmm. um, don't know if anyone in the chat room has suggested a country yet that they'd like us to search and Ashley see if we can find a brand. France. France. Let's take a look at France. Yeah, let's, uh, let's have a look what we can find from France because I'm pretty sure that there's going to be uh, a good chunk of uh, a good chunk of people that are coming uh, brands from France. Here we go. Yeah, 158 brands from from France. So, Just one or two then. what do we want to look for? A, a green brand, a perfume and cosmetics brand. Um, let's have a look at let's have a look at cos perfume and cosmetics. Well, perfume and cosmetics is a, a company called ABC Distribution. That doesn't sound too exciting. Um, although I'm sure they're a great company and no, no disrespect uh, intended to you guys. Um, perfume and Cosmetics, here we go. Um, let's see if we can do a search for these guys. Uh, Coriolis, I'm sure you, if you say that with the French accent, it sounds a lot sounds better. Sounds that much more exotic. <laughs> <laughs> apologies for my lack of language skills, but let's see what we, what we find when we, we search for this. This looks like an event concept brand. Um, that's not them. Beauty and Cosmetics, maybe this is them. Doesn't look like they've got a website, so uh, perhaps the impromptu sort of research is not the best idea, but uh, we're I'm gonna give it we're one. Gonna try it. We're gonna, gonna try give it. it one more go, just uh, because Ashley's watching there. Um, a lot of contract packaging. What about a, um, a hair care brand here? We've got uh, one called Compliment Hair. I'm gonna do a search for these guys and see, see what's happening. And, really important if you are at the fair and you know you watch this back tonight and um, we won't be live tomorrow and the next days but guys use the hashtag if you're if you're at the fair you've paid a lot of money to travel there and have your have your stand maximize the spend by getting onto social media because it's not just people that are at the show that are looking to discover new brands it's people like us we've got a distribution company here in wales and, and we're looking for new brands all the time so um <clears throat> I'm, I'm finding this brand here, and although it says it's from, it says it's from France. Uh, I think this is a, a, a German website. So um, okay. interesting to see they've got oh, yeah, they've got a cool. guy coming on to chat to us about the products uh, there in German. But um, yeah, interesting one. I can't work out exactly what they do. I'm afraid, but uh, it just goes to show the diversity of brands that are at Cosmoprof. I'm gonna. 
quickly go in and see. We've got to find someone. You know, France. I would have thought is going to be one of the. They need to be represented. The homes, sure the homes for them. tremendous brands. In the meantime, yeah, please. Uh, Sylvia has popped Sylvia. over a brand <laughs> um, to me called uh, yeah. Nas. I think it's Nashi Argan. They're an Italian brand, obviously, as the name suggests. They're arranged based on argan oil. The wonderful. Uh, product to sweep the country and the world. Um, I'm going to just take a look at them now. They have a hair loss prevention product as well, which is quite interesting because um, obviously you see um, argan oil in a lot of like treatments and a lot of shampoos and things like that. But obviously this is more of um, a specific product and it's kind of cool. So we're just loading it up on my screen now. Um, and we'll take a little look. But yeah, Sylvia is is she doing a really good job at the brand yeah. scouting at the moment? Um, yeah, it's fab. I think I'm literally putting my my computer through the paces today when it comes here we to, go <laughs> comes to pages Nashi. so this is Nashi argan um and it says the line of hair loss prevention due to seasonal changes and temporary causes um so that's really cool fantastic to see their use of languages there like they've got oh, all the European countries there and well worldwide countries i should say Amazing. so good effort to them for <clears throat> going multilingual so it's saying the, pro the program starts with a professional treatment inside the salon combined with innovative night program for the customer at home. So that's really good as well. That is a product that you, know, you can get your initial treatment done, but you can maintain it because that's good. You know, you don't want to be constantly having to visit salons. Um, they look really interesting. Let's see if we can find out a bit more about them. Um, yeah. I've oh, got so quite a bit of press coverage as well. By the looks of things. And they've got Instagram. Let's see if on their, on their Instagram if they've right. if they've sent any pictures from Cosmoprof today. Come on, guys. April 2014. They have been posting today. They have been posting. This is pictures live from the ah, event. Okay, this nice is from packaging. the stand. Nice. That's a very nice packaging. Actually. That is, isn't it? That's yeah. a great gift. Yeah, that's <clears> ah, looks like they've got ah. a store there as well. They're in Path 32, <coughs> stand A19 to B20. So again, sounds like a massive stand. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Path 32. So what bracket are they in? Uh, here. There. And nice. that's in the hair ring category. Hair so ring category. Uh, yeah, great to see those guys get over to uh, stand 32, uh, ring 32, and check this out. Um, a South African brand has uh, been uh, put in, t in front of me here. Um, it's called Nemu. It's skin technology from South Africa. Um, their, their website is nimuesskin.com. Um, yeah, cool packaging. Um, leader in scientific skincare. Mm -hmm. They've got um, a website here with an introduction video to YouTube on there. Um, Harriet, did you find these guys through just researching or? Um, yeah, just looking through the exhibitors list. Yeah. Um, uh, no links to their social media on Facebook, although they do have a YouTube channel, so uh, we'll we'll let them off on that one. But uh, yeah, definitely uh, another one to look out for. A South African brand looks expensive. That one there, they, they, you know, looks like it's going to be on the high end, uh, high end of the scale. But um, you know, interesting. You know, yeah. see see what they've got. Good to there. have a bit of diversity, isn't it? I can see what we've... Nick, I can see you going crazy on the old iPad there. Are you uh, um, discovering I'm, anything? I'm trying to, to go on to Costa Prof on Instagram at the moment because after seeing that, I thought, if I mean, there, there's got to be loads on there. They if must... there's just one brand, done a couple. Yeah, that's um, true. There so must I'm... be a hashtag on, on Instagram. Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to have a look now, see what I can find. This is... Um, We've got some pictures here from Cosmopack. Cosmoprof uh, website themselves have not sort of updated their, their pictures yet. So um, let's have a look at that. Visitors. Uh, I was going to see if we could have a look for um, a list of sort of talks and things like that. Yeah, I have had a little there. scout around for that. As of yet, it's been an unsuccessful scout around. I'm sure, I'm sure they've got I'm a sure, list somewhere. I'm sure but it's there somewhere, it's isn't it? Hidden at the moment. Um, I have found, um, uh, been, well, just been looking at uh, another brand, Mediterranean Cosmetics. They're a hair care brand, but they do seem to be salon only, uh, like professional products. So, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we're on the hunt. If you, we have tweeted out the link to the exhibitor, um, the exhibitor list as well. So if you are having a little scout around, you come across something, make sure you're sharing that with us because that's 
really, really useful. There's so many. I don't think we'll be able to get it. Two, 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 two thousand four hundred and fifty. No, absolutely not. You know, it's. Um, that would be a marathon show if nothing we're else. We're really hoping to get. You know, the the social tweets. We were looking. You know, one one thing which for me was like, well, I also want to connect with the brands that are social media savvy as a distributor, as a, you know, an online reseller. For yeah. me, if 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 a brand, you know, good products is great, but you need to have the whole package as far as I'm concerned. Um, it really makes a, a difference these days to see a brand that's doing blogger outreach, that's sort of getting involved with uh, social media, it. Instagram, mm -hmm. uh, and tweeting out. So. Um, at the same time, if there is, if there are brands that you know maybe are struggling a little bit with that side of things, that's where we can always, you know, by bringing the brands onto BCTV, yeah. showing it to our amazing audience, you know, things great things can happen. Nick's found some gold here. Um, just looking at the uh, the Cosmoprof hashtag on on Instagram, looks to be that there's. Uh, a huge, a huge selection here. There's yeah, um, it's quite busy on there, but yeah, it looks very so busy. It looks like there's fifteen thousand photos. I'm not sure if all of them are from this year, but uh, yeah, can definitely see some uh, nail, nail treatments and nail art happening. Got lots of stand pictures as well here um, from. Uh, I think a lot of bloggers have been posting stuff. Of, yeah. Um, Loads and loads of Italian bloggers go to this. I mean, a few years ago, we sent a couple of uh, team members out to Cosmoprof and they uh, they connected with a lot of Italian bloggers. It's a big sort of meet-up place for those guys and they do have loads and loads of fun when when they get over there and uh, and connect. Yeah, it's really cool to see pictures <clears throat> coming through from, uh, from Instagram. Here, here's a nice one. Some girls here looking like they've just <laughs> got a nail block sample. Nice. It doesn't uh, see if it says where they're coming from. It's difficult for me to tell. There's so many hashtags on that one, but uh, <laughs> that come 20, 20 through 24 minutes. What's that brand in the background there? Three Tree Boss. I'm going to search them and let's see if we can see whereabouts those girls are. I've misspelled it, but. <laughs> I think it is just just tree boss. I think uh, the three is made from the T and the B. Ah, clever! The graphic designer's eye there picking <laughs> up. So let's have a look at, at that. Here we go. This could be anything. So it's a bit diff. <laughs> it's a bit of a risk, sort <laughs> risk. of searching uh, searching live on there. Um, that's like uh, forging metal. So if you want to do yeah. that, um, yeah, bear with me a second. <laughs> see I, if I found can find um, that one. a pretty cool uh, men's brand. Um, who are exhibiting. They are at stand 22P in H7. Um, they are a gentleman's tonic and they're called ex the exclusive gen uh, exclusive with just an X, an OB. Um, now, I was just having a look, I give them a follow. They're, uh, they're pretty social media savvy, having a look at their products. They've got proper old school barber type products, which I like. I like that. Yeah. I'm a massive fan of those things. They, I just like the look of them in the bathroom as well. They yeah. look quite cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they've got everything from the gift sets, the um, horn shaving sets, which is quite cool. A bit of body care, a bit of hair care and styling. Um, I think by the looks of it as well, they um, you actually go into the salon. They're a salon product as well. You can go in and you can get like a professional shave. And then you've got all the different products to maintain it at, at home as well. And they look really cool. So yeah, go and check them out. Uh, this is there. this is why I'm not finding that brand here. Like we can see that they're they're on here as a nail care brand. If you bring up my screen now, uh, Trebosi. It's. Uh, that's why I wasn't finding it. So they look like an interesting brand. They're on Facebook. Good to see they're getting their Facebook uh, page up there. So um, they're promoting their selfies as well. Always good to see. Yeah, that gentleman's tonic uh, that you're on about there. They're based in London, Hong Kong, and Dubai as well. So Very it's cool. quite a quite a company. Yeah, international yeah. sort of distribution there. Yeah. Right here we go. So it, we've got these guys up. This is their website. Looks like they've got an English version if we want to sort of check that out. Um, nail enhancement products, extensions, and yeah, this is a great nail art brand. They do uh, tools. Um, it looks like we, we featured nail art on one of our previous shows. Looks like they've got some spotter products there. Is that nice. right, Aim? Dotting tools. Yeah, dotting tools, dotting that's tool. the word. And, and some really nice sort of color selection there as well. So um, 
uh, see if I can find their Facebook page because it looks like uh, they're quite active in the social stream. But um, people enjoying the, themselves down at the uh, the Trabosi uh, nail stand. They've got uh, the selfie sort of hashtag happening there. So good to see that, guys. Really wish you all the best for, for the show. Looks like a lovely stand. I can see some, looks like they do some mineral colours or some sort of pots as well on there. So, um, cool. yeah, that's really cool. Interesting we've got to see. A, uh, we've got a controversial update from um, the co-founder of Wellify.com, Kevin Mice, and he is actually tweeting out saying, forget Cosmoprof, it's all about the World Spa and Wellbeing Convention. Coming up, that's yeah. another one we need to keep well, an eye on. That's definitely one to sort of look at as well. <laughs> that was one of Harriet's finds. But yeah. Yeah. Cool. What There's, else? Um, we're through. finding it on Instagram. We've got a, a hair extension brand. That is uh, She Hair Extensions. Um, we've got an image up on my screen from uh, Thomas... Uh, Codolo on Instagram, which is a very cool looking stand. These stands look so slick, like really, really, yeah. really good looking stands. Mm. And they've got nibbles on <clears> them as well. What's mm. that brand called? That is at She Hair Extensions. One yeah. to look at for our, cool our up and coming stand. hair weekly show. Definitely. I'm not sure if Thomas is maybe associated with the brand or whether he works them. I'm not sure, but yeah, cool photo. Here we go, I've got their website, looks like a, a UK brand, mm, maybe not, uh, it looks like they've moved moved websites and they've got a, a, a link on there to their sort of social media and stuff like that, yeah, yeah I've got their actual website on, on my page now so you can Take see a, a picture of uh, their products in, in action there. Hair extensions are becoming so popular these days. It's They've posted some recent photos. They do braids. Those are things. This seems like a fun down to earth brand. You know, Very making cool. the effort to get out there to Cosmoprof and uh, and showcase their products. I'm yeah. sure they'll find some international buyers for that. But uh, yeah, she hair extension. So uh, wow. shout out to you guys. Yep, we're live here in Swansea, South Wales, giving live updates from Cos. Cosmoprof uh, 2014 Bologna. Um, yeah, it's starting to pick up a bit now. We're, we're, we're finding brands c coming through uh, a bit more sort of regularly. Um, yeah, where What's is it? Going on? Lots happening. It, 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 totally sort of impromptu idea doing this today, and I yeah, think it's a worth bit. it. It's, it's worth cool. It. It's, um, I think it's good. Um, I can just see now that Carrie from Kilpatrick PR is saying that she's at final stop for Real Techniques Roadshow with uh, Samuel Dent and Nick Chapman from Pixie Woo at Cosmoprof and she's tweeted out a photo. Let's have a look. Um, look at that. Gorgeous looking lady. Um, from, that is the Kilpatrick team official PR. <coughs> uh, yeah, so you've got account. Carrie Kilpatrick there on the left. And uh, yeah, that's Pixie Woo Girls there, isn't I know it? Pixie Woo. Yeah, I know. I uh, know pretty <clears> much. <throat> I haven't heard a bad word being said about the Real Techniques brushes. They are. Is that the stand that they're at there? Real that's Techniques. the stand, yeah. You can see the brushes behind the girls. Um, yeah, created by the lovely Sam and Nick from Pixie Woo. Uh, I've actually found. Um, Another Instagram picture, which is on my screen now, where some uh, <laughs> some B bloggers have found themselves at exactly the same stand there. <laughs> Almost uh, the same composition. And I, if I was there, I would love to get a picture of me and Pixie Woo. It would definitely end up being my profile picture for a couple <laughs> of days on Beauty Baron. I've for sure. got um, a picture from the Kilpatrick team as well, about the, from the entrance to Cosmoprof as well on my screen. Nice. Looking good. Looking good. Looks quite quiet there at the moment. So I don't know well, that was five hours going. ago, so uh, I'm sure it's gone a bit bonkers. The girls from Kilpatrick have been up early and uh, looking forward to hearing uh, those in uh, future meetings with the guys. So, yeah, um, exciting. Yeah, Very excellent. Cool. Very cool. Yes, uh, 10 past one here in the UK, so I guess that's around about 10 past two in, uh, in Bologna. Um, yeah, what's happening with you guys uh, this afternoon? Do let us know if you're at the show. Really hope you're enjoying yourselves. Sylvia has just sent through a absolute pillar of a brand. Brilliant. Um, it is called Fabi Nails. Now they've actually they are at um, Cosmoprof. They've actually got a nail uh, collection dedicated to men, which is so cool. Um, it's actually exactly what it says in the tin. It's a man collection. 
Um, and they've got a selection of six colours at the moment. I think that's really cool. That's different, Very isn't cool. it? Very different. Let's check out. Let's have a look at their Facebook. I'm on Let's their Facebook page right now. Uh, so just, got it there up we now. are. Like lightning. Uh, it's just over 7,000 fans. Should we take a look at their Instagram, see if they've got anything Well, they've got from... a couple of pictures from the show there on, on, on Facebook, on the wall, actually. Awesome. Yeah, if you want to switch to my screen, Gav. So that uh, oh, looks like they've got a huge lacquering gel. Oh, like, look. Nice. Very nice. 20 hours ago. Look at their stand there. This looks like a cool one to go and visit. Mm. Well lit sort of um, brand there. This is cool. Do you think that we need to have a nail care show coming, you know, in our sort of future, I think, I think our definitely. future sort of lineup? Because it it's tends to sort of be a separate category from makeup, really, doesn't it? You know. Yeah, and people, it's, it's such a massive, massive market at the moment. It's such a huge trend, and obviously we've been talking about it quite a bit. But it's something that pretty much anybody can get into. Even a little bit right? Yeah, yeah, and we're finding loads of brands. Like? I mean, that Italian brand that um, I mentioned earlier, the. Uh, Traposi sort of guys yeah. uh, over there. Yeah. Um, looks like another interesting one. If you're in the social stream, guys, I can see some of the regulars in there. Lisa Prince, which colour will I be wearing? Ask, is asking Keena. So thanks, uh, thanks to that. I did have some of the Elf uh, brown nail polish on the other day, but uh, I have removed that now. <laughs> the sun is coming out here in Swansea. We're, ba we're ba basking in we're beautiful glowing sunshine. Now. We're glowing. Um, if anyone could give us a weather update from Bologna, I'm sure it's a lot warmer than it is here. <laughs> um, like I said, hope you're really enjoying the show. Um, Ashley, Lisa, the guys in the chat room, Kina, if you want to sort of you know, if you you know want to see a particular category, do you want to look at men's products? Um, do you want to look at why would you want to look at men products? I don't know, skincare, hair care. You never know. Father's Day is coming perfume. up. Perfume. Yeah, when is yeah. Father's Day? I'm looking Beginning forward to that. Beginning of June. Oh. Beginning of June, I think. Yeah. It's all sorts. I'm sure. I'm sure Vicky and the children are keeping their eyes peeled now. There's so many awesome. I think, if I'm honest, Neil leaning towards the nail product side of things wants to go a man manny on. A man, a man manny. manny. It's just a manny. I think Harriet has created a hashtag <laughs> man manny. So. Man manny. Nice, Harriet. You fancy nice, that? Nice. nice. Look, we're so in sync. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll give it a go. I'll give anything a go. Let's do it. <laughs> Nick, are you discovering anything on the laptop there? I can see you. Have you seen any sort of design uh, brands that you like the look of? Or? Well, I mean, at, at the moment, I found myself another, another Instagram feed of pictures, which I'm just about to share now, actually. Yeah, so send it over I'll, to me. I'll put those up. I just want to find some nice pictures of some of the stands that are there because I, I can imagine there's some quite creative things that have gone on with the bigger stands. Just oh, yeah. I'm sure. Find some I'm, I'm going to retweet Carrie Kilpatrick for her effort with the Instagram. <laughs> um, yeah, this, uh, you know, 2,400 brands. I mean, with all those people there, I suppose you can forgive the, the lack of sort of tweets and social media posts that are coming out of it. But um, next year, I'm going to send some, some roving reporters <laughs> down to the show we'll so that we can on the floor, definitely on the ground, guarantee on the uh, a constant stream of uh, brands coming in. But, uh, you know, you have to sort of bear with us, guys. We're trying to sort of research through them as fast as we possibly can. I'm, um, I'm just having a take and a look at uh, the Kilpatrick team's uh, Twitter, and they're saying that buzzing at Cosmoprof 2014, eyes and nails are still prominent in the halls. There's so much more to see. So that's g it's good. These trends are sticking around, aren't they? Everyone's loving nail art. I don't think I, I can't see it going anywhere anytime soon, to be honest. Um, you see some very cool. Um, there, yeah. I, think. I don't think that's uh, Kilpatrick, I think that is somewhere else. I've got another sort of um, picture on my screen at the moment, and this is obviously something that's just happened, just started with Pixie Woo, or it's been going for a couple of hours, but loads of people sort of like tweeting their pictures with their, them and Twixie, Pixie Woo, and to be honest, I can't blame them. Those girls are great, they're, they're over at Eco Tools, um, and yeah, there's, there's quite a bit on uh, Instagram about those guys. Don't know if we can maybe check, one of us can check out the Pixie Woo uh, Twitter feed and see if there's anything interesting happening Definitely. there. Let's take, look. Let's take a look. Nick Haynes is sending me through a company profile. What have you found here, Nick? So body art. Um, wow. Uh, that's going on there. I, I, I just sent you their website, but I also found their Twitter. Makeup Forever. Here you <clears> go. <throat> I'll send you this now. This is their um, Instagram feed. They're quite big on Instagram, these guys. So... Um, They've, they've taken loads of pictures today of some live body art, so 
you should be seeing that there now. It's quite impressive. impressive. Uh, this is, this doing is some, from the show today, is it? Yeah, yeah. They've been doing some male body art by the looks of it. It looks really, really detailed. Quite impressive. I've stuff. seen some of this myself uh, uh, um, when I went to uh, another fair previously. But um, okay. They're going for the arty sort of stuff. Forgive the sort of blank screen there, guys. We're, we are sort of <laughs> trying to search out all these things live <laughs> so as it comes through. But right whoa, now. here we go. This looks like it's going to be a great uh, finished article. Maybe we can yeah, come back later and see if there's. Ah, uh, yeah, cool. Claudia from the shop does body art, the Elf Cosmetics yes, store in Cardiff. Yes, she does from the Elf store Cardiff. She actually won, I think it was um, a student uh, art competition. Um, I think she actually won in the UK um, event. That's pretty yeah. amazing. Pretty amazing. Uh, we'll have to get those pictures up to show people that. Yeah, our company, Distributi, we're a, a distribution company based in Swansea, South Wales. We've got a warehouse facility, we've got a fully integrated social media team, we've got web development teams in-house, we've got graphic design in-house, we also do live broadcasting and uh, media production. Um, and yeah, we're, we're, we're really trying to showcase ourselves as the right sort of destination for your brand. We're discovering loads of cool products online today that we would love to start featuring on a new website, uh, beautycrowd.com, which is under development at the moment. Our guys are actually in this room right, right at this very moment in the corner there, um, coding and uh, hacking their way through the sort of website and developing something <laughs> quite tremendous, which we'll be introducing on future shows. But obviously a good website is great. What we need is excellent products to really make that website sing. Um, we've got lots of integrated social media tools on there, uh, ways that you can generate user-generated content, um, obviously media. We've got loads of ways in which we can tell your brand story. We can put your brand out there to the community and it is going to be a slightly different sort of take on the traditional e-commerce platforms that you that you see. So it's a real, you know, we're really hoping to sort of tell your story and get your brand message out there. And, uh, you know, when we're selecting brands, that is what we're, we're sort of looking for. So do get in touch with us on social channels. Anything else coming through here, Aim? I'm just taking a look at um, Mark Anthony, um cosmetics with hair care um, and just seeing that I've just uh, found earlier a um, where's that gone a um, Instagram uh, photo from an Instagram uh, attendee of Cosmoprof um, at the Mark Anthony stand so I'm just taking a look and finding out seeing just find out a bit more about them their profile on the Cosmoprof website uh, they develop and supply solution based products specifically tailored to unique hair care and styling needs of today's consumer so um, heavily influenced by the Moroccan oil and macadamia oil and coconut oil product lines. So, yeah, they're very much on that, that oil and hair care trend at the moment. So they feature that. So have a little look. See what these guys People are, are still arriving all the time. There's Mystery Key says she's on the train en route to... Um, to the event right now. Tickets are still available and it looks like um, I'm seeing some adverts around the web that you can still get 40% off your tickets yeah. for the show. So do, you know, if you still, you could be in the UK, I'm sure you can still get over there for a Monday or a, or a Sunday. It's a couple of hours flight from the UK. So if you can find transport, get yourself over there, get a 40% off ticket and start getting involved. And if you do, decide to go over please do sort of tweet in beauty crowd and let us know what's happening over there Definitely. um i don't know if we can try and sort of get like some sort of phone call happening today that would be a, an absolute would be be amazing. gold really um would be brilliant disappointed a little bit with the cosmo prof 2014 feed to be honest is uh is stuff coming through four minutes to, we're, we're sort of taking over the feed a bit at the moment like a, <laughs> a little boat and just ourselves so, that all so if, if people are searching back afterwards they're certainly gonna discover beauty crowd that's for sure so um, i'm loving seeing uh gq uk getting so involved on the cosmoprof 2014 hashtag guys are absolutely smashing it at the moment so well then good to, good to have you involved I'm seeing some pictures coming Whenever. through. I'm having a look at all of them. A lot of people are just tweeting out the um, the Cosmoprof image, the branding, fab. We want to see your experiences. We want to see what's going on actually inside the venue. 
see what get some exclusives J Tan is now following me so oh yeah. it looks like we've had a tweet just looking this year it's very exciting J Tan is, is getting in touch so cool. that that's really cool to see awesome. uh, there were some other sort of celebrity names that you saw that were going to Cosmoprof wasn't someone from Steps well, was on their I way saw over there Claire or? Richards uh, off of Steps uh, is making her way to Bologna I, I did tweet to ask if she was going there for Cosmoprof that is unconfirmed but kind of putting two and two together you never know perhaps there's some news coming from that side of things I will keep everybody posted um, that would be very cool, like a proper steps themed cosmetics yeah, brand yeah. or haircut. She's got fab hair, so maybe it's haircut. Who knows? So, so yeah, Nick, you've discovered a brand here, is it? Trees? That's Sylvia. Uh, oh, Sylvia yeah. sent one through. Brilliant. Thanks, Sylvia, for sending this through. Trees, trend cosmetics on my screen right now. And yeah, trendy is the word, like really cool sort of uh, cool imagery. I'm just going to let the, those images sort of flick through. They've got a lookbook on there, which is obviously suggesting that they're bang on sort of social media trends. They've got a uh, Facebook and Twitter down here. Look at that mascara there. That looks quite cool. Nice packaging from Trees. Yeah, nice um, photography as well. Though, yeah. Isn't it? Cool photography. Um, they do a selection of colours there. Obviously, black and uh, tiger eyes. What's tiger eyes colour? Oh, sort of like a bit of a, a bit of, of yeah, an auburn brown nice. there. Um, yeah, cool. Look at all these other sort of nice packaging products that they've got here. I think this is a brand. Uh, the website is Tees T Triple E Z dot E U, and this is a, a Dutch makeup brand. Um, well worth a look at. We've got Naomi uh, here. How are you doing, Naomi? I'm okay. I was asking if you want something to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan, Nick, all about do, the... do you want anything to eat? Yeah, I'm gonna get. I'm not going anywhere though. I'm just gonna. It, it's cool <laughs> if you want something. to sort of go in <laughs> anywhere. No, what I'm thinking is that we might need to take a break at some point might and have a bit to. of lunch, and then perhaps. Uh, do a bit of more research over lunch and come back perhaps uh, in about three quarters of an hour and uh, and maybe we'll start a second stream for part two because I don't know if Gary can confirm but how, how long have we been broadcasting so we're coming up for a two hour slot here um, I hope people that are, are watching live are enjoying it and uh, and we appreciate them getting involved there are things coming through all the time. Nick has just sent me um, an update of the body art image that we were just looking at that was being created live at Cosmoprof. This is incredible. It's up on my screen now. Um, look at that. <laughs> that is amazing. That is cool. That is so cool. Uh, is that like Is a that a person? I'm, I'm, obviously it's a person, but is, is it like a... It looks like they've set him on fire. He's got flames going up yeah. his arm now. That is amazing. Yeah. What's the face? Do you think it's a face of somebody in particular? I don't think it's anyone in particular. It looks quite like of, regal, doesn't it? It'd be cool yeah, if they were quite regal. Sort of uh, Indian, Very cool. Indian royalty or something there. But, um, loads of things to see and do. Like I, I can't believe how much sort of activity Pixie Woo are getting. Like they must be. They're like major celebs. Ooh. Is this Pixie Woo or am I confusing it with someone else? No, I think that's Pixie Woo. Yeah, those guys are just yeah. Pixie Woo are getting. Pixie Woo, um, I'm getting a question in my ear here. Who who is Pixie Woo? Um, and yeah, basically the you know everyone I'm sure watching knows that Pixie Woo is uh, the top YouTube channel. Well, one of the top YouTube channels in in the UK and across the world um, for makeup tutorials, product reviews. It's uh, sort of two girls. What's their names? Sam and Nick. Pixie Sam and Cafe. Nick, and uh, did they used to have more than two. Isn't it? Is, is, is it like a, a collective group, or no, is it so just the two of them? Yeah, it's been the two of them. I'm not sure. One of them started it off first. I'm not sure which way round it was. But yeah, they were. They've done. They do amazing tutorial videos and yeah, advice and things. Like that. And then they went on to to found the Real Techniques brand. So. Yeah. Pretty, pretty amazing, I but I think they definitely they develop that brand. Definitely class them in the uh, celeb A list side of, of when yeah. it comes to Cosmoprof and makeup and tools for sure. Definitely. 
I yeah, really appreciate Sylvia sending through more and more, uh, more and more links. I think we're probably going to have to sort of start closing a few windows during the break because things are starting to sort <laughs> of. About I've, li tabs I've literally got so many brands, and the great thing about doing this video, even for our own purposes, is that we can actually watch this back ourselves and uh, I don't even need to write anything down so uh, <laughs> it's actually great. Um, I've got another sort of uh, brand on my screen at the moment, it's Storosa, made in Italy as uh, many of the many of the products from this show are. Italy is actually one of the, is the largest manufacturer of cosmetics in in Europe and they actually have over mm -hmm. like 1,100 factories um, in, in, in Italy and they're by far the largest sort of uh, distributor and pr um, produ producer I should say of, uh, of cosmetics and this is just one of the, one of the brands that's out there. Um, you can shop this online, you can see there that they're obviously advertising Cosmoprof, they've got a, a section here for their blog. Um, all the sort of social media links up there just out of interest let's see how many followers they have Esterosa oh, nice. 84,000 see it's a brand I've never heard of and it's obviously very very popular in Italy um, huge following there huge following and uh, yeah, I'm sure they've got some great products then if they're if they're getting that kind of response from the social media. I'm yeah. going to like that page and uh, come back and check that out a little bit later. I have just come across a pretty cool brand um, on Instagram um, being featured uh, by an Instagram user. I'm not sure of her name, but she's a feather um, temporary hair extension um, brand called Hair Flares. Um, now I've seen these about quite a bit of late. I think they're very, very cool. They look really good, great in long hair. I don't think I could pull them off in my hair. Um, but yeah, just quite a few pictures coming through of different styles that people have tried. Or oh, somebody was short her there, so yeah, it does work. Um, but I've just popped over to their, bra their brand website, and they've got everything from crystals to tinsel to the feather extensions. I think it's very cool. Yeah, that's a nice sort very of fun cool. brand and uh, hair flares. Yeah. News for fashion, cool. like they're on, on the social Very media fashion. scene as well. Definitely Got 21,000 <coughs> likes on uh, on Facebook. Yeah, so. congratulations, guys. Is that um, Very cool. Is that a UK UK brand? Uh, do you know, I'm not sure. Let's have a look. Halfers.com, I think. Let's see, about halfers. Where are they? Where are they at? I'm going to say they look American. They're, they're, they're American. on the Today Show. Yeah, those are American titles that I can see there. So fantastic sort of that. amount of uh, of uh, press there, and um, yeah, first like there was a USA. celebrity sort of couple of celebrities using Katie their Perry products. Which, uh, that. Yeah, that's that's great yeah. to see uh, Katie using those products, and uh, yeah, that could be an interesting one for for beautycrowd.com. So. You know, it's an American brand. Um, we haven't got any sort of hair hair care extensions or anything similar in the pipeline, so that that would be quite quite a good one. We'll have to look at what their distribution network is like in, yeah. in Europe and see if we can reach out to those guys. If you want to see things like hair flares on beautycrowd.com, you're in the chat room now. Get over to Twitter, let us know at uh, beautycrowd, and if you want to sort of find hair flares and let them know that beautycrowd.com is where you want to buy their products and that would be much appreciated as well. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, BCTV Live, the Cosmoprof special from day one. Um, we're just here in the studio today just bringing you updates from the Twitter feeds, uh, from Instagram, from social media. From just, just about everywhere Yeah, really. just a selection of uh, the brands and, and activities that are happening at Cosmoprof Bologna. Unfortunately this year we couldn't make it ourselves. I don't know if we're going to... We're going to have to make up for it next year uh, and get a team out there because... Um, We're there it, in virtual spirit today at least. From what I'm seeing online, it looks absolutely tremendous. There's 2,400 exhibitors. There's talks going on about marketing, all the industry insider stuff. So whether you're a blogger, a brand developer, an entrepreneur or a consumer, it's just a great sort of like place to go to yeah. sort of uh, to learn about new brands. Yeah, exactly. And find, you might find some something that you've been searching for for so long. It's like, it's, uh, there's, a, there's everything there, absolutely everything. Just, Nick has just sent me through a really cool um, stand feature uh, from a cotton wool pad uh, company 
which is very cool. They've created like a bath filled with cotton wool. Nice. They're, they're nice. using their um, artistic techniques there yeah. to, to full effect. Yeah. I also sent you through a link of their, their oh. website. Um, it's, it'd be cool to show it because it's a, an animated website as well. It's quite oh, okay. Let's take a look. You might have to wait a little bit for it to load, but when it, it's, it's worth oh, it. Oh, I see. It's, it's quite impressive, but yeah. The so anticipation. Here we go. We can see these guys loading up. And what do they make? Uh, it's cotton products, so they do things from pads and cleansing gloves, um, natural without using um, like a cleansing. That's cool design, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, no, nice really That is very cool. And if you hover over the different sections, then that, that kind of cotton fairy <laughs> follows, cool. follows you about then. <laughs> nice, nice. Oh, that's awesome. Cotton Eve. Cotton Eve. Cotton Eve. Cotton Eve. Cotton Eve. Cotton Eve. Yeah. It probably sounds better in um, Italian, I think. In it an is. Italian accent. <laughs> well, it doesn't everything, you know, but. Um, oh, hang on, they've got an English version website. No, we'll have to check those out. Guys, it's 1.30 here in the UK. We are going to sort of come back a bit later. Um, my tummy's rumbling now. I don't hope the mic's not picking it up, but we're going <laughs> to grab a bite to eat. We're going to do a bit more research. We're going to um, strive to sort of bring you a conversation from someone at the show, and let's see if we can find out uh, some people there. I'm going to concentrate during my lunch break here in, in uh, tweeting frantically and seeing if we can line some things up for a bit later, and we'll come back in a, in a new stream for... Um, day two day one part two uh, which we'll, we'll strive to get back in about an hour so thanks for joining us and we'll we'll see you in in uh, in about an hour's time <laughs>